Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the first video of the new playlist that I've created. Uh, I called it Conceptionary in Pure Imagination. Uh, conceptionary meaning concepts in dictionary. So I'm trying to collect as many uh, concepts as possible that I believe it will be very relevant to our day-to-day -day lives. So to understand these concepts will be key. So the first entry of this uh, series is the word paradigm. Now, what does that mean? What is paradigm? Now, we've heard of it in, uh, in news or um, in, in a sentence like a paradigm shift is happening or we're living, uh, we're going through a paradigm change. So simply, uh, it, it is a more of a historical overview of what is what kind of change is happening uh, in every aspect of society. So uh, when we say paradigm change, um, normally it's because <clears throat> people have explained something better than what, what they were doing before. So because of the newer um, exp explanation that has a stronger explanatory power, people have uh accepted it and and are going uh transition into a new uh, way of thinking and being an example would be um copernican revolution so when the church used to make us believe that the sun was at the no so the earth was at the center of the universe copernicus explanation was was stronger it matched with reality better. So the, the, the fact that Earth is just a planet revolving around the sun. So as we can see, um, we, we have gone through a lot of paradigm change over the course of history. Uh, so it's, it's something that's always happening. But at certain times of human history, there's been what's called an inflection point. So if you see the human history <coughs> moving in, in a certain direction as a wave, in, in, a, in a change or in a flux there is a point uh, like in yin yang where there is a point that has the greatest uh, rate of change and that we call the or the historians call that an inflection point so we may be living on uh, through an inflection point in a paradigm change um, and we all know this is ai this is the age of ai ChatGPT, virtual reality and so on and we just don't know what what we're stepping into. It's an uncharted territory uh, full of unknowns. So in 10, 20 years time, what would education look like? Will we still be uh, learning with books and pens or iPads, uh, visual learners? Or will we be stepping into uh, something unknown like using headsets, VR to, to learn, um, and all those other things. So once you transition into that, everything that's been done before will look very inefficient and so on. So in society, we we go through a lot of innovation uh, to make sure that we adapt to these new challenges. And uh, one challenge that we're facing as a society globally is the climate change. So how do we innovate, uh, come up with innovative ways to face this challenge of um, transitioning our economy from carbon consumption, uh, energy production to carbon neutral, renewable energy production. So <clears throat> it is something that we need to do as a uh, society, but a society is made up of individuals and as individuals, we also go through transition that can be scary and have uh, fear and uh, anxiety. And as we know, we've all been through it and my students are going through it right now. It's a transition into uh, from childhood to adulthood, the puberty stage. So when their body is going through a lot of hormonal and uh, bodily changes. And um, there's other changes happening in, in life stages, such as becoming a parent or the process of dying. Uh, being ready to transition into afterlife or the next stage uh, of spiritual spiritual life. So <clears throat> this is um, allows us to mature as we face these uh, difficult situations head on and experience these changes. Um, and that requires us to have wisdom and courage to face them. And once individuals do that, 
um, and become mature and society can innovate and the history will will move uh, and paradigm will have changed so that is a uh, sort of a whole picture that i try to give you of what a paradigm change looks like and um, hope that helped and um, i'll see you again on our next conceptionary thanks